First problem states, specify which of the following numbers in this set are integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers. And the numbers are 8, negative 3 quarters, 0, pi, negative 12, the negative square root of 38, 5 elevenths, and the square root of 25. To begin with, I'll define what integers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers are. Integers are negative or positive whole numbers and also include zero. Rational numbers are the whole numbers, but they also can be written like as ratios or fractions, and they also end. They don't repeat on forever. Irrational numbers continue, they repeat on forever. They don't end terminately, like the symbol pi, for example, it's just, just 3.14, but it goes on forever. It doesn't end. That's the definition of an irrational number. Okay, so the first number 8 is a positive whole number, which is an integer, and it's also a rational number because it's a whole number. Negative 3 quarters is not an integer because it's a fraction. However, it is a rational number, negative 3 quarters, because if you were to divide it, you would get negative 0.75 and it ends. It doesn't go on infinitely. Zero is an integer by definition and it's also a rational number. Pi, pi is the definition is 3.14 but it repeats on forever. It doesn't make it an integer or a rational number. It's the first irrational number. Negative 12 is a negative whole number. So it's an integer by definition and it makes it also a rational number. So the square root of negative 38, if you were to do the math, goes on to negative 6.16441403, but it keeps on going on infinitely. But it doesn't make it an integer or a rational number. It makes it an irrational number. 5 elevenths, if you were to divide that number, it would be it was equal to 0.45, It means it ends. It's not an integer because it's a fraction. However, it's a rational number. And finally, the square root of 25, if you were to do that math, it's equal to 5. So that 5 is an integer, and it's also a rational number because it terminates.